Hornby's latest streamlined B-17-5s, available in two manifestations, in original LNER apple green with full streamline valances and in later BR guys post-war in plain black. Now both of these are magnificent models at source. Here we see the post-war black manifestation and you'll note that I've added all the bits and pieces that Hornby provided as well as my adding of lamps and it's hauling a typical post-war train made up of XLNER and XLMS stock an inter-regional train the sort of train that post-war this class would have hauled They didn't stay long in streamlining post-war, the pair of them. By 1951, they'd both been rebuilt or stripped down to standard B-17s or B-17-6s because they got B-1 boilers. Now it makes real common sense for Hornby to introduce these streamlined B-17s, the B-17-5s, of which there were two. Because some years ago, earlier in this century, they produced an upgrade of the B-17 class. The very first one that was done by Hornby in the 70s, early 80s, was really a bit poor with tender drive. But the later B-17, the b 17 that was either B-17-1, 2 or 6 was produced by Hornby and it was a far superior model. So the underpinning of that later B-17, the chassis and tender chassis, have been utilised to go underneath the latest B-17-5s. And what's of interest is that both of them have a die-cast Mazak body, which means, as you can see, very, very capable of hauling quite heavy trains. And here I've put it on perhaps a more appropriate LNER train post-war on the Great Eastern section. Now the LNER one is really magnificent in all its glory, full LNER regalia. There were two of these, as I mentioned, two B-17-5s built in 1937 and they were built to haul a fast train, I say fast because it wasn't streamlined, a fast train between Norwich and Liverpool Street return for businessmen and it was called the East Anglian and it was made up of brand new ordinary Bresley coaches but they were all open meaning a meal served at every table and that six car train was hauled by the pair city of london or east anglian when they were first built they were ordinary b-17s and carried football club names but they had names to commemorate well east anglian obviously and city of london the destinations of the train Now this is not the East Anglian. Nobody makes a kit for that type of coach and Hornby certainly doesn't. Although this train is made up, as I say, of ordinary Hornby Gresleys, which I think potentially are superb models. It's a pity that the body shape isn't quite right, but nonetheless, with a little bit of work, a bit of weathering and a bit of this and that, they turn into very acceptable models. And this is a typical train, not the East Anglian, as I say, but a typical train of the period, 1937, up to the war. During the war, the engines were painted black. Post-war, they were painted only our apple green, but they'd lost their valances. And then, immediately after BR's formation, they were painted just plain black 
and by 1951 they were, as I say, returned to standard B-17 condition in ordinary BR lined Brunswick Green and both were withdrawn by 1960 and sadly no B-17 has been preserved although there is a group building another one. And we're showing this sequence to illustrate how well this beautiful locomotive works. The LNER Apple Green livery is as good as it gets. I've seen many professional finishes which aren't the equal of this. And even the lubricator drive is represented. Both are truly wonderful models. I've built B-17s myself, not streamlined ones, but they're nowhere near as good as this pair. Now obviously this final sequence is anomalous because they would not have been seen like this together. Here we have the post-war manifestation on the inter-regional train and it's passed by the earlier manifestation, the lovely apple green one, in pre-war condition. The valances were removed during the war as they were with the A4s. It's an A4 front end really, it's a sort of potted A4 for those who don't have a full-size model railway. The streamlining was really mere publicity because the speeds that these two went, no real advantage was gained by the streamlining. And unlike the A4s, which of course went well over 80 90, 100 miles an hour in everyday service. The B-17s, these two streamlined B-17s, never got really near that. I suppose the fastest on the Great Eastern Main Line would be around 80 mile an hour, but the streamlining doesn't really come into effect until after that. I think they're lovely. They're not appropriate for little by them, obviously. There's no record at all of any B-17 ever having run between Peterborough and Grantham. Certainly not a streamlined one. Perhaps the ordinary ones did. But as I say, I think they're absolutely super. So thanks ever so much for watching this.